What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Money Yachi TV, man. Today, we got Central C versus Digga D, the violent backstory from the Kid Nerd YouTube channel. Now, we just did a reaction to both Digga D and Central C back to back, and I told y'all I had this dropping today. So, I gotta get, you know, more backstory, more insight on UK Drill, because I told y'all we tapping in with these boys out there in the UK. So, shout out to everybody out there in the UK. Shout out to all the fans that support UK, because we about to go crazy on the channel, man. But we got to we gotta dig deep and see what this is all about, man. Let's get it. When we look at the UK draw scene and its numbers, it's clear to see who's at the top of the game right now. With Central C hitting number one in the charts with his new mixtape 2-3 and Digga D securing features like Moneybag Yo, no one else in the UK scene is really doing what they're doing right now, which becomes even more interesting because these two have a long history and not a good one. What's up guys, it's your boy Kid Nerd back with another video. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment below what you think. Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go. So today, we're taking this story to West London, which is probably the weirdest part of London for so many reasons. So on one side here, we have Digger D, who's from Ladbroke Grove, which is located in the borough of Kensington and Chelsea, one of the richest and poshest boroughs in the whole of the UK. But the borough also has the second highest crime rate in London. Famous Ladbroke Grove rapper AJ Tracy explains how it is living in the area in one of his interviews. Habits an area where we're living in estates and, and flats in which that sometimes we don't even have enough um, to pay the electricity bill and right across the road there's a family where the youngest daughter who's nine years old has a rolex on central it's crazy though because it's even something like that here in the states where and you kind of start to see it a little more like the bigger cities where you could have a house you could have a neighborhood with like uh like 10 super small houses under under $150,000 and then you got one super big mansion right next to it. It's crazy. It's crazy how, I forgot like the term for it, man, but that's that's wild. Across the road, there's a family where the youngest daughter who's nine years old has a Rolex on. Central C was also born in Ladbroke Grove, but is a couple years older than Digger. But Central C moved around five minutes away from Grove to an area called Shepherd's Bush, another quite notoriously dangerous area in West London. And you'll soon learn why this location switch for Central C was important in his feud with the rapper Digger D. Now Digger D and Central C actually went to school with each other. They both attended Chelsea Academy School in West London, but Digger D got kicked out of school in the start of year eight so the pair didn't really have many run-ins with each other at school and central c was quite quiet and low-key in school so he probably wasn't easily noticed but from school both rappers took completely different paths central c from around 2015 started trying to launch his music career with a song on the music platform called street heat and he even managed to get onto a remix with big east london rapper jay huss in early 2015 around the same time he had to support his family and with his music career not launching yet he had had to get it in another way. He previously had a job at a shoe store but left less than a month in and just like many other kids in London he started the cycle of going to OT to make some fast money. On the other side in 2015 Diggity started getting his face more beta on the roads. Back in 2015 Shepherds Bush and Ladbroke Grove actually used to be part of one gang called 916 alongside some other areas in West London and you can even see a young digger in the 916 music video from the rapper John 5 in his song Ain't Scared. But in 2016, internal disputes inside the 916 gang split the whole group apart, creating several different break-off batches in West London. The 916 members from Ladbroke Grove broke off and continued to use the name 916, but eventually started repping the name 1011, which represented the two postcodes across Ladbroke Grove, which are W10 and W11. And 916 members from Shepherds Bush divided into two different sets called 12 World and 12 Anti. The same year, Digger D dropped his first music video called Hella Bands where you can see other 1011 members and that was the start of what we know Digga D to be now. Throughout 2016 and 17 putting on other 1011 members onto his tracks and 1011 started to blow up faster than anyone in the scene at the time. You may be asking why they blew up so fast. 1011 were really the first UK drill group to have no filter at all. Literally just saying the hottest stuff on beats. Describing specific events quite graphically. And I did a reaction. I, I can't remember who it was though. I cannot remember the name, but it was it was recent, and they all you know the faces were all covered, and they was like very, 
very like graphic with you know what they were saying and like i think the video ended up getting banned off of youtube like this was like a re-upload ended up getting banned at one point but yeah literally just saying the hottest stuff on beats describing specific events quite graphically which is something drill rappers i wonder if they had affiliation with them i know y'all know who uk fans i know y'all know who i'm talking didn't about didn't really do to their extent at that time but one of the main reasons for 1011's blow up was the constant mocking of a murder which took place in 2017 an opposition member called t wiz so it was april 2017 early in the afternoon and t wiz had just stepped out of his house in norfolk west london which is a op block to the 1011 gang. T Wiz was then approached by two guys from an opposing gang called Rainer's Lane, who are linked with 1011. And once they spotted T Wiz, they stabbed him in the stomach and ran from the scene. So T -Wiz is he? Is he? Was he Central C's homeboy? Like I want to know, like how exactly? 1011. And what once they spotted T Wiz, they stabbed him in the stomach and ran from the scene. T Wiz then tried to run to a nearby alleyway around a hundred yards from his house, but collapsed and died. Digger D and 1011 would mock T Wiz's death in pretty much every song. So two men were put on trial for the murder. One being a guy who went by the name T Rose, but both guys actually ended up beating the murder charge. We had D Rose here in Chicago. They got T Rose over there. That's crazy. Guy who went by the name T Rose, but both guys actually ended up beating the murder charge due to claims of self-defense. After beating the case, T Rose then went on and made a drill song, not only mocking T Wiz's death, but he went and reenacted the murder in the music video. Wow. But stuff started getting hot for T Rose, so he went and moved around. What? So you made a, a video mocking this, like reenacting the death in a music video, bro? Like, that's the type of stuff that'll get you definitely get you caught up by the fans here that's crazy to the murder in the music video but stuff started getting hot for t rose so he went and moved around three hours away to the north of england in a town called telford that didn't stop anyone because t rose was shot five times and killed in broad daylight even wow. after moving to the other side of the country let's take so he moved three hours away three hours away after mocking the death and they still these people still went and got their get back that's crazy that's crazy. These boys don't play. These boys out there don't play. After moving to the other side of the country. But let's take it back to 2017. The beef between Digger D. Like you really got to have pure hatred for somebody to drive three hours. Three hours to take them out. That's crazy. It's 10-11 and Central C Shepherd's Bush was getting serious. During this, Digger D really started making a name for himself with his tune called No Hook and his next up track starting to rack up some big views. And even though all of his songs would be featured by other 10-11 members, it was clear Digger was the star of the group and he even started to attract a lot of international attention to the UK drill scene. But with the constant release of diss tracks, the beef was only becoming hotter, which eventually caught up to Digger and 10-11 members. While all of this was going on, Digger's gang, 1011, had been getting investigated and tracked on every movement they made. On the 9th of November 2019, Digger and four other members were riding out when their car got stopped near Portobello Road in Ladbroke Grove. Digger tried to make a run for it with his face covered, but he didn't get far and was taken down and arrested by the police, where he was found with a large machete down his trouser leg. One more machete- Down his leg? Boy, you know, you could have you could have cut your you could have cut your business off there, boy, boy. You gotta be careful with that. Niggas just carrying big ass things right by right by the pecker? Right by the pecker? I ain't nah by the police where he was found with a large machete down his trouser leg what one up? more machete a knife and two baseball bats were also recovered in the car or on the members all five members were sentenced to conspiracy to commit violent disorder with the older members receiving prison sentences but digger d at the time was only 17 so got a lighter sentence of a year in the detention unit originally the members stated that the weapons were for props for a music video but after the piled up evidence they all pleaded guilty to their charges and this could have very much being the beginning of the end for Digger D. They even played his music at court, where they showed he referenced real life unsolved crimes in his area, which caused the police to get YouTube to take down most of Digger D's songs, including his next start, which was one of the most viewed UK drill songs at the time, with 11 million views, even putting Digger D on Channel 4 News to make an example of him to others. Digger was also slapped with- So, okay. So like the use of lyrics, so they, I mean they, they use them here too in the states i don't know just how like harsh the the law system is over there in the uk i don't know if they like a not a no tolerance thing i you know just 
on the outside looking out, I feel like they're more no tolerance with a lot of stuff. So they probably, you know, anything you say, they're going to take literal and they just going to make an example out of you. I don't think they give slaps on the wrist out there. But, I mean, he lucked out because he was a minor, so he only got a year. Putting Digger D on Channel 4 News to make an example of him to others. Digger was also slapped with a criminal behavior order, which prevented him from writing lyrics on his rivals and mentioning dead people like T-Wiz. For real? They, they could do that? They could do that? They could stop? They could tell you, you can't say this name anymore in your song. Digger D on Channel 4 News to make an example of him to others. Digger was also slapped with a criminal behavior order, which prevented him from writing lyrics on his rivals and mentioning dead people like T-Wiz. This was quite a turning point for UK Drill, because after this we started seeing more and more Drill songs getting taken down. We started to cause Drill artists to water down and censor their lyrics to stop this from happening. Then on October 8th, 2018, Digger was fresh home. Boy, for nastus. But you get me? But it just seemed like he still couldn't keep himself out of trouble. Now this is where Central C now gets involved in this okay, story. Let's go. Now at this time in 2018, Central C was starting to build a steady name for himself. He was already blowing up on Instagram with his unique type of drip and his pretty boy looks. But his music wasn't quite blowing up yet with a more wavy type of sound, which was kind of what everyone else was sounding like at the time. But what happened on the 30th of November 2018 might have been a big reason due to his quite drastic career and sound change. So Central Central C alongside his brother and some other guys were posted up near a Sainsbury store on Davisville Road in Shepherd's Bush when they were approached by two males. They started getting into some sort of verbal altercation. One of the males pulled out a knife and stabbed Central C's brother just under his left shoulder and then cut from the scene. Central C and his brother then went inside the Sainsbury store where the police came and they started to treat the wound. Two men were arrested for this, one of the men being Digger D. Digger D and his friend were eventually released due to lack of evidence yo okay this is crazy because okay so digga d and central c they went to the same school together they never interacted in school though but like it caught up to the point of where digga d and his homeboy went and stabbed central c like it was it was like that that's how it started that's crazy though it's like before i thought it was just you know just like some some friendly music competition, you know, Central C, Digga D, you know what I mean? Like, something like that. I ain't think it was like this. Oh, it's 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 for show smoke between the two. Men being Digga D. Digga D and his friend were eventually released due to lack of evidence. And Central C went kind of MIA for a little while. But Digga just couldn't stay out of trouble. On January the 2nd, 2019, at around 7 p.m., police was called to Harrow Road in West London due to a large fight between around 20 people. Harrow Road is the area of another West London popular rapper called Fredo and also happens to be another area Digger has conflict with. After this fight, it was reported that two men were stabbed from the altercation. Digger, along with two other 1011 members, Savo and ZK, were arrested alongside some other members of the HRB gang, who was on the other side of the conflict. Digger was arrested and sent back to prison for two years and six months. Luckily, before Digger went inside, he had already finished up his debut album, Double Tap Diaries, and recorded some music videos to some of the tracks. This album is kind of what blew him up to the next level, because before this, he didn't have that many solo songs he okay so from what i'm getting from this right now i think diggy d is like you know like he he's the demon in this whole thing i don't think central c i mean and just based on what i reacted to from central c like he don't really t give me the type of energy like oh i'm a killer i'm a you know i'm a gang banging killer i get you and like he don't really give me them type of vibes he more like he said on this video more like a wavy type of sound so digga d is more like the the demon in this but this is crazy though kind of what blew him up to the next level because before this he didn't have that many solo songs he released a music video to his hit song no diet on april the 18th while locked up the song done big numbers and is currently on 26 million views setting him up for a lot of hype for when he comes out digger ran into some issues though while inside prison he was stabbed in one of his eyes making him partially blind then on the 22nd of may 2020 digga d is fresh home once again Oh my god, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. 
I'm emotional guys, I'm emotional. And comes out with one of his biggest songs yet, a song called Where. This wasn't too far after Central C dropped his first big song as well, called Day in the Life, which put Central in the limelight. And Central C went from strength to strength in 2020, getting numbers in everything and anything he dropped. But he really took off after dropping his hit song Loading, which is now on A- Just reacted to that, that got like, it was at 82 mil at the time of this video, it's at over 103 mil right now. Or something like that. It's, it's well over 100 mil. 50 million views. Even Digger D was seen listening to him in one of his Insta lives. And it seemed like Digger didn't really have that many personal issues with Central C at the time. But Digger did have problems with a lot of the people in Central C's music videos and people around him. Central C has many members of the 12 anti gang around him, which obviously has conflicts with Digger D's side. Not only this, but Central C featured on a song with the West London rapper Fredo, who is from an area which historically has always had problems with Digger's area. Ever since then, so Digga D is pretty much the biggest op in this situation. He got issues with everybody. Digga has been moving kind of wild, talking about the situation with his brother back in 2018 in a couple of unreleased songs. But it seemed like Central C wasn't trying to reply to any of Digga D's disses and not give the situation any type of limelight. Until recently when he dropped his new mixtape called 2-3. On one of his songs called End of the Beginning, he sends for Digga D's ex-girlfriend called Tennessee when he says I want to hit Tennessee and I don't mean Nashville. Digga responded to this on his Insta, pretty much saying why is he sending shots to his ex and not hit- I said I want to hit Tennessee and I I ain't talking Nashville. Yeah. Hey, if the hey, he ain't even gotta mention nobody did partners, he ain't gotta shoot nobody. It's up after that. It's up after that. Him. But when we look back at to this on his Insta, pretty much saying why is he sending shots to his ex and not him. But when we look back at Central's life, it makes sense why he hasn't really replied to Digger. Literally just from the fact he's not really involved in all of this beef the two areas have. Obviously it seems like the two have had their own little bit of history, but I think Central C is just at a point of his career where he just wants to go clear and live in peace. Like this guy could easily clear 10 million views a video at this point and is building a fan base all over the world. He's literally a walking living potential hall of famer in this rap game. He doesn't need to be involved in all that street stuff. With Digger it's all a bit different. Digger has kind of thrived off his controversy and bad boy image and that works for him, that's his audience. When we look at Central C's career, he's getting them big views from his songs like Commitment Issues and Obsessed With You, songs for and about girls. So this whole gangsterish type of route he's dabbling with now, in my personal opinion I think he needs to scrap it. And he could potentially turn into the first international pop star to come from UK Drill. Anyway guys, let me know what you all think about this situation. Now, I mean, and that's kind of what I said. I said Central C don't really, you know, I, I did the Obsessed With You song, I did the Doja song, we did the Loading song. Like, he's not really, like, the type to be, you know, on some, like, he doesn't have to do the gang banging thing. But Digga D, just based on what I reacted to from Digga D, yeah, Digga D's the stepper. Like, he, you know, he gonna stand on business. But it's so weird when these two got a conflict with each other because normally... When you got a beef like this, you know, both guys kind of got that rep in that, in that rap sheet of really getting down like that. But I don't think, I mean, besides the, the stabbing of his brother, I mean, obviously it could be smoked just with that. You know, like y'all tried to rob us and you stabbed my brother. Like, yeah, I don't like you. But I think overall, like the biggest issue is Digga D has an issue with Central C's, the people that Central C be around, which I guess by association, you know, you got to have an issue with that nigga. So... That's crazy though, man. Central C versus Digga D, the violent backstory. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this. Link down below in the description to check this video out in its entirety with no interruptions. Y'all new to the channel, y'all rock with me. Want daily reaction videos? Hit that subscribe button, follow me to the next video. I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Maniachi TV. I'm out.